but this is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're gonna see a page transition animation. Actually it's done with bricks and motion page, but it could be done with uh, any builder where you can add um, custom code. Because I haven't used bricks by itself, but just to, to, to insert some codes to make the animation work. So let's see the transition. So if I change page, you have a exit and entry animation, like a sliding cover, which coming from the top <coughs> and going to the bottom. So actually it's a request that I got from uh, 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 somebody to to uh, to replicate this animation from another uh, example so let's see how it's done so as i said i'm using bricks just to insert some code uh, you can use whatever method you want to insert code i mean i'm just using bricks vanilla bricks to uh, to to not use any other plugin or whatever just for the sake of the example, so there is no, uh, uh, it's not because I'm using bricks and the custom CSS and uh, uh, script that you can add in bricks that you have to do like this. You can do the way you want. So what I'm tr actually doing is I'm adding a class to the body. Uh, for the bricks users, you know that you can add a class to the page in bricks, but you have to go to every page. So instead of going to every page, you can add this small line of JavaScript to add the class. This time I use the class cover that I'm adding to the body. So no need to insert the class cover and go to every page in Bricks. This time it will add the class cover to every page uh, to the body uh, on the website. Then I'm creating a pseudo element, so cover after. So that I'm animating, that's the only way you can animate in motion page uh, pseudo element uh, to, 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 to mani manipulate and animate the, the it actually. So and I'm animating it through variable. So I'm putting, uh, adding a variable. So dash dash h 100% and dash dash h 200% on the root. And on my cover after, I'm putting in position fix, content nothing. Inset, I'm, I will be using the inset motion page to, uh, to animate the, the elements. Background color, you can choose whatever you want. Putting a Z index, you may have to change according to what you have in your uh, website. And to make completely neutral the uh, cover after, I'm putting a pointer event known. So let's see uh, how it's done in motion page. So, um, it's an animation that will be globally, uh, global to the website. So you can choose whatever page you want to add your animation, but it will be, uh, the timeline will load on all pages. So don't forget to, 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 uh, to click on that one and on the page load. So I'm animating the class, the cover and it will uh, animate actually the pseudo element with the h and the h2 variable. So the h2 uh, doesn't move from to zero and the h1 will, will be pushing the um, from the top to the bottom. I think, yes, uh, I'm putting from zero to 100%. So uh it's doing this 
for the entry. Okay. Then I have another timeline that I'm doing on page exit, so all links. And this time the H2 is from 100% to zero. So it will be doing this. So it will be it will be covering the um, page and uh, the entry will be let's say decovering the uh, exit animation. So if we look again on the animation, you can see that every time. Even if I, I, I am on another part of the page, everything is working. I mean, I can scroll, scroll, and then go to another page that will be working. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you at another one. Thank you.